Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Baking Diva. I'm back from vacation and ready to uh, continue on with my baking. I have a guest with me today, my handsome grandson, who is going to be my sous chef, Kyle. We're gonna do something easy today. I ordered something, I purchased it on my own, oh, maybe about a month or so ago. And what it was, um, it's a Presto Belgian waffle bowl maker. And I thought to myself, that looks like it would be a lot of fun to make ice cream sundaes in. Um, you could put eggs in it and um, fruit. You can put, what else, Kyle? Chicken. No, chicken. Well, you probably, <laughs> I think they made tacos out of them and you could put, I guess, whatever you want in it. But you can do um, all kinds of fun things with these. And I was anxious to see if this was going to work. So we decided to make waffle bowls. I took the bowl, the machine with me when I went on vacation because we were staying in a home. And one night I decided to give it a try and make everyone dessert, right Kyle? Now, I have already pre-mixed a waffle mix. I didn't make it um, from scratch. You can use what I used. You wanna show them, Kyle? It's, um, what was it? Hungry Jack, uh, pancake, and waffle mix. We fun thought it would be fun. What did we buy? Funfetti. The Funfetti one. But um, you can use that mix and just follow the directions on the back for making waffles, or you can make your own. But for time's sake, we're using this today, and we've already pre-mix it, pretty easy. You just have to add egg, water, oil, and uh, the mix. So I'm gonna move this bowl over to the side here. Now here is the little waffle bowl maker. Um, I don't, I'm trying to turn it around here. I don't know if the cameraman's gonna be able to get a look at this or not, but it's self-stick. It's small, so it doesn't take up much space at all. Um, it has a lid. And when the lid is all the way down, um, the light on the bottom is red. And when the light goes off, uh, it's ready, it's heated up and it's time to use it. So I've already preheated mine and I have it um, all ready to go. So we're going to try and make a waffle. Now this is already um, non-stick. I have a little thing of Pam here. I'm going to just do a gentle squirt just to be on the safe side, but I don't think you really need to. And I'm going to put some of the waffle mix in there. It couldn't be any easier, right, Kyle? Don't use brownie mix. Oh, thank you, Kyle. Thank you. I, I'm glad he remembered that. Last night, I decided to see if you could make brownie waffles in there brownie cups. So I made a brownie mix and I put it in there because I wanted to do it, right Kyle? Before this video, don't do it, it doesn't work. This little machine is for waffles. The brownies had to stay in there forever and they all fell apart when I was taking them out. So stick with waffles. And we made normal brownies. Yes, and then with the leftover mix we made a tray of regular brownies. This doesn't take very long at all. You'll see when I close the lid, um, it takes probably no more than a minute, maybe two, and it makes a beautiful um, waffle cup. So I'm gonna put the mix in there. Making a little mess. I should have probably used a scoop, right, Kyle? How much do you put? You don't put that much. You'll see the lines in there. Um, you see that line? Everybody will see it when they open up their own. You don't have to put that much in there. You don't want to put too much because you don't want it to overflow. So I think that's probably good. Can you move that over there? All I'm gonna do is uh, close the lid. You'll hear it click down. And as soon as that light changes color, um, we're gonna open it and see if the waffle cup is done. I was so fascinated with this. I thought, 
can't really be that easy to do. But let me tell you, they came out great, right, Kyle? Yeah. We got these um, really nice waffle cups. We put ice cream in it. We did whoop, cherry, right? Cherry. Whipped cream and a cherry on top. So after we make our waffle cup, we're gonna sh and they cool. We're gonna show you how we do that. Um, I ordered this on my own, like I say, from Amazon. Like I'll um, put the link down below if anybody is interested in purchasing one, but it wasn't sent to me. Like and uh, it's just something I wanted to purchase. The light went off, so let me open it and just see what it looks like. Whoa, pretty good. Let me take this over here. Now that took, what, not even a minute? I'm going to just take my fork and take it out and look at that I didn't put a lot of waffle mix in it so it came out a little small I'm gonna make one now it's hot don't touch it it's hot so um, I'm gonna make one a little bit bigger and we'll see how that looks mix chef mix sous chef <laughs> probably should have used I, I'm gonna pour a little bit in I think it'd be easier that way There we go, much easier. And put a little bit more in, make it a little bit bigger. Here you go, sous chef. Close the lid, hear the click. When that little light goes off, they're done. This was small, I prefer the larger cup. So let's see how it goes. So I hope everyone's having a great summer. We had fun in Cape May, right Kyle? Yeah. Yeah, we had a, maybe two and a half days of rain, but um, other than that, we had a lot of sunshine. You guys were in the ocean a lot, right? Yeah, and they went fishing um, on a fishing boat. And um, they also went night fishing, right Kyle? Off the shore, and what were you fishing for? Dogfish. Dog shark. Dogfish. I thought they're called dog sharks. Oh, whatever. Dogfish. I'm sorry. I'm not a fisherman. Um, dogfish. They also caught crabs. And they caught some crabs. And what were you using for bait? I don't remember. Some kind of fish. I remember your dad went to the bait store and Uncle Jason and they bought um, some kind of fish for bait. But we had a lot of fun. So anyway, I'm waiting for this waffle. The light to go out. It should be a little bit bigger. And once we take it out, we're gonna let them cool. And then we're going to show you our masterpieces. We had eight people on vacation and within just a few minutes, I made eight of these, um, eight or 10 of these waffle bowls. We filled them with ice cream, whipped cream, cherries and sprinkles. And uh, the light went out. Look at that. Now we're talking baby, right? So let me bring my dish over, take this out, oh it's hot, that's what it's supposed to look like. Let me move the little test one out of the way. Can I try that one? Oh, well, in a minute, it's very hot. So look at that waffle bowl. Can you see that cameraman? These kids are too much. They only want to bake with me because they want to eat. But this is what it looks like, a beautiful waffle bowl. And uh, this one's Funfetti. Um, I'm going to put some more mix in because I want to make a few more. It's good. It's good, isn't it? Mm -mm. Put it right up to there. Here you go, sous chef. And I'm going to make another one. And I'm going to click it down. I'm going to continue making them until we have a few made. And when they are cool, the sous chef and I will be right back to show you how we're going to eat them. So stay tuned. The sous chef and I are back and we have a nice cooled waffle um, cup. cup. And I put more of the batter in there. So as you can see, this cup is bigger and it's higher, which is really how they should be. So we're having dessert now. We already had our lunch. And I'm making dessert for Kyle and the cameraman. Hi, cameraman. Hi, Diva. All right. So I have some 
chocolate chocolate chip ice cream. My little scoop. I'm going to take some, ooh, looks good, Kai, right? I'm going to take some ice cream out of there, put it in my waffle cup. Mm, mm, mm. Fill that up. Look at that, baby. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Then I'm going to take some real ready whip whipped cream. I'm going to neatly squirt that around the top. Woohoo! This is the fun part. Then I think um, I have a lot of different decorations. I think I'm going to put the colored chocolate drop sprinkles on the top. Put some in my hand so I can put them on pretty. Oh, how nice. Look at that, Kyle. Well, what do you think, goes, cameraman? It goes with the fun party. That's right, Kyle. These it kids. looks like balloons caught in a cloud. Oh, cameraman. He said it goes with the fun fetty mix. How cute that looks. And, well, well, friends, what else do you think we need to put on here? A cherry. A cherry on top. So I have a jar of maraschino cherries with the stems, and I'm going to put that right on top. Now, is that delicious or not? Can you imagine serving that to your family or friends? A nice soft um, waffle cup with ice cream, whipped cream. You can put chocolate drizzle on it, anything you want. And like I said earlier, you can fill these with eggs and sausage. Put a little maple syrup on it, make them for breakfast. You can fill them with fruit, whatever you like. So I know Kyle is dying to get his hands on one and make it himself. So Kyle, want to get a dish over there? Okay, here you go. Let me pass you the ice cream and the ice cream scoop. It's Kyle's turn to make one. And I will put a picture on this, of this on the video. Um, if you like what you saw today, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment on, it's dripping Kyle, on what you thought of our video. Uh, you need a little help, sous chef? And um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I love my subscribers. I really do appreciate all of you. And uh, been working hard at this and trying to gain a few more. So anyway, I hope to see you soon. And I will leave you now with Kyle making his own waffle bowl Sunday. And we will say, wait Kyle, what do we have to say to them?